Hi everyone, uh, Antoinette here. I'm going to show you today how to use the video equipment on the first floor uh, in room 104, the video lab. So first of all, I'm just going to show you what you have to work with. Um, you have a normal laptop. Um, you'll use this laptop to log into the system with your normal MyUnisa password, uh, username and password. Secondly, you have this um, board. Um, it's very handy and I'm going to show you some tricks on it today. Uh, this Wacom touchscreen type of board. Then you have this microphone over here. And it's recording me at the moment. We call it a snowball, blue snowball. It's a very good microphone. And then you also have this pen. You will use this pen to write and navigate on the board. And lastly, you will receive the headphones. Um, you will use that to edit the video later and um, to look very cool. Let's go to the board. Okay, so once you've logged into the computer with using your username and password, you will see a, a normal uh, Windows screen like this one in front of you. Um, then the first thing you have to do is you have to go to the start menu and then open up Camtasia Recorder 8. Okay, uh, it would not look like this. It's currently looking like this because I am recording at the moment. It would rather look something like, like this. Right, so um, uh, yeah, it gives you a couple of options. It gives you the selected area, meaning what on the screen you are recording. You can choose either the whole screen, like I'm currently doing, or only a part of it. Then recording inputs, meaning a webcam on or off. And as it says off here, but it's currently on because you can see my face. And then audio on or off. Now, if you want the microphone uh, webcam or on, you just go to the drop down arrow here and it gives you a couple of options. The first option is the, you'll see it's a separate device. It's the one I'm using now, it's the best quality. The other one is the webcam that's installed into the Dell laptop. So I chose the first one. Then the second thing is your audio. This is the most important, otherwise you can't hear, what, you can't hear me. Um, just choose the microphone snowball. Um, What's nice about this microphone is it doesn't have uh, batteries, it just works with a USB. Okay, then um, the selected area, just show you here, yeah. you'll see um, that there are little dotted lines with little squares in them. Let me just go to the first one. Here we can see it. Little green dotted lines with a square in it. That shows the area of the screen you are recording. You can change it by clicking on the squares and dragging it to where you the area you prefer, or just clicking downward uh, list here on custom and manually typing in the ratio of the screen that you would like to record. Okay, when everything is correct, just hit this red record button it will give a three two one and it will start recording now i typically first go to the slide i made because i use powerpoint then i hit record and the menu will disappear into the space bar at the bottom after the uh, countdown you can just start talking and explaining to the students what's going on now obviously if you show the slide like this not in the slideshow format meaning not like this, but like this, then you have to change the custom uh, specs, the area, so it just fits on, this, on the slide here. So meaning you have to drag these little lines so the student can only see the slide. Otherwise, what I do is I keep it on full screen and then I press slideshow. The reason for this is I enjoy the, the, the freedom that the animations on PowerPoint give, so I can show them the demand curve, the supply curve, and the equilibrium with the equilibrium price. The other very cool thing is, is that there's a, there's a pen option, so I can go pointer options, pen, and then I can show them 
do you remember the supply curve what we said about that or do you remember the demand curve what we said about this and note that equilibrium is here so I can draw on this and explain um, when I'm talking to them there's other options as well you can change the ink color to black I usually use black it just looks more professional um, and then you can even show them you know how to calculate stuff and then lastly you can even show them some um, stuff highlight highlights and stuff like remember to label your axes etc okay so there's a lot of options here in explaining to students you can even if you like just have a blank um, blanks sorry let me just put my pen again you can even if you like just have a blank slide um, on which you explain certain you know calculations um, to them then um, that's very helpful for showing how to do certain mathematical stuff all right and when you are satisfied when you're done with your clip then you just press F10 on your on your laptop so you just press F10 